deer crossing. You know, there was a time where that was a bad idea, and you know what? It still is. somewhere. I would need water. Maybe, maybe down by the creek. Gotta look around. <sighs> if you can. Something under this. Smart girl. Stay off the street. Only come out at night. The freakers are out, but she'd be harder to see. You fucking rippers, none of you are getting out of here alive. I tell ya. <laughs> Sorry, goddammit. Move! Run out, look around. There's a girl here somewhere. Be needing this.
Shit! Get in and out. This is it. Come on. Uh, just gotta set it here. All right, kid. Where are you hiding? <laughs> Don't be afraid. Uh... I'm not gonna hurt you. Are you alone? Is there, uh, anyone else with you? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, uh... Is, is this your room? It's, it's really great. Uh, are, are these yours? No! Lisa? <laughs> That's mine. This one's for gymnastics. I should have won first place, but Missy King, she cheated. Lisa! Lisa, you hear the gunshots outside? It's not safe here. I was now, at we... school. And my mom called me and told me to come home right away and not stop, and they would be here waiting for me, and we would leave together, and... I got here, and there was... A note that said they left with some men, and I didn't know what to do, so, so I hid, I, I didn't know what to do. It's all right, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, Lisa, not far from here, there's a camp. And you really ought to let me take you there. No. Uh, there are people there. There are people, I know them. It's, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a work camp, and to eat, you have to work. Life is gonna be hard, no. but at least you ain't gonna starve. No, uh, no my mom's coming here is, for okay, me. Okay, is this your mommy? Well, you said she didn't come home, right? So, maybe she's at the camp. Mom is at the camp. I know she is. Okay. 
stay close. The men with the guns. Are they still out there? No, we don't gotta worry about them. Did you kill them? They're gone. Okay. No. Lots of sick people. No. here.
Get on, we have to move. I don't know about this. Come on, kid, we gotta go. 
Oh, okay. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Deacon. My name's Deacon. Uh, Lisa, Lisa, how did you live out here alone for all this time? <sighs> you don't talk much, do you? My dad's a rock hound. He used to take me out here looking for thunder eggs. Thunder eggs? Uh, what is... They're rocks, but when you cut them open, they're really pretty inside. Okay. That, that sounds great. He used to go all over. On that crater, the lava flow and black crater, everywhere. Do you think he's at the camp too? Uh, I don't know, kid. Someone's in the tunnel. What? Listen to me. The gunshots that you heard, those were really bad men. Do you understand? Yes. Stay here. Find some place to hide. Don't come out until I say so, okay? Yeah, okay. This'll do. Lisa! Kid! Come on out, it's safe! Yep. Okay. Hop on. Are you okay? Yeah. I, I think I want to go home. Nah, kid, the camp. You'll be safe there, you'll see. Okay. I'm gonna ask you a question, Lisa, and I need you to think real hard. Did any of your neighbors, did they own any firearms, you know, like uh, pistols, rifles, things like that? No. Men came and took everything. Men? 
Were they like the men in the tunnel, or, or did they wear uniforms like, uh, like in the army? Like the army. But they were really dirty, and they carried flags they made themselves. Um, Deschutes County Militia, I think. I don't remember. Did they have anyone with them? Women? Children? I don't remember. Okay. Tommy would remember. Tommy? Tommy Strickland. My best friend. But he's gone. He left with his dad to hide. Hide? I don't... His dad built a fallout shelter and put all kinds of stuff in it. Maps, food, water, guns, you know. Stuff like that. Okay, okay. do you know where that is? No. They wanted me to come with them, but I knew my mom and dad would come back for me. All right, this is it. We're here, so just him. stay with Let me. Okay. Well, who do we have here? Is this Tucker? Oh, my God. <gasps> Lisa, honey. Oh, it's okay. You're safe now. Mom and Dad, and everyone got sick, and I didn't know what to do, and men came, and people got sh sh sick, and... It's okay. You're safe now. It's a miracle. It's a goddamn miracle. We were neighbors, weren't we, Lisa? I lived just down the block. I knew her parents. Are they here, Mrs. Tucker? Honey, you know the answer to that. No. They're not here. Let's go in. Get you cleaned up. Something to eat, and then, then I'll find a place for you to sleep. Take her in. Give her some food. Go see Alki. I'll update your credits tonight. Hey, hey, listen, listen. She's she's been through a lot. Can we just let me worry about how? No, gonna... listen to me, okay? Seriously, don't work here like you do everyone else. Don't tell me how to run my camp. You want to move here? You want to help us run this? Then maybe you get some say. <laughs> don't get soft on me, D. Boozer said you guys were uh, thinking about heading north. Yeah, yeah, as soon as we put together enough gear, we're riding out of here. Tucker's starting to get on my nerves, you know? Shit, we're gonna miss your sorry ass around here. Yeah, well, that makes one of us. Stop by soon. Uh, just having a look. Need anything? What? Hey, what's going on? What else can I do for you? Need anything else? This will do you good out there.
should keep you pretty safe out there. Yeah, all right. I'll be here. Thanks, Deacon. Can I help you? Deke, you ever ride with a drifter, scars all over his face, carries a tire iron, goes by the name of Limbo? Don't know him. He came into camp yesterday to turn in some bounties, have a few drinks. Seems like he didn't leave until early this morning. Well, Tuck, I don't run security here, so why don't you just tell Alki about that? He beat a man, Deke, and a woman to death, Bowman and Hewitt. Her face was so smashed in, you couldn't tell it was her. Hewitt. Maria, right? Oh, Jesus. This asshole, Limbo, he's a local. Alki says they've set up shop at the old Forest Service watchtower on the east slope of Three Finger Jack. Yep, I know where it is, and, uh, I'll handle it. I thought you might. Luck, I can get to their chopper without being seen and give them hell, brother. Remember what Jack used to say? Don't ride faster than your guardian angel can fly. Like I said, Jack used to say a lot of stupid shit. Deacon out. All right, let's go see what the hell Nero is up to. Oh, Brian, got some questions for him. Oh, what the oh, Jesus. Well, better have a look around. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Back during the American Revolution, we were fighting for our freedoms. We gave them beautiful rights to kill and bear arms. Right we used to protect ourselves, our families, our property. That is, until the ever-growing federal government got scared of the people they swore to protect. Over the years, they stripped us of every gun like they could. And a few mass shootings as an excuse to curtail the God-given rights of us, American citizens. Gun control. And there went the Second Amendment, ladies and gentlemen. Let me ask you this. When all this shit went down, if every American was packing heat, do you think we'd be in this mess? No. This is how the feds wanted it. Disarming the public was just the first step toward getting rid of us all. So who did those gun laws really protect? Sure as hell wasn't us, the American taxpayers. Someday, we have to take out of this. I'm gonna take a poll. I bet those who survived were those who had guns. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Okay, Cope, this time you got me. Hey, 
Tuck, I'm here. Yeah, looks like Limbo and his crew are calling the place home like nothing ever happened. You said his face was scarred, so, uh, I mean, more, please. What else can you tell me? He wears a green coat. Looks like a goddamn leprechaun. You bring me his tire iron, Deacon St. John, and I want it covered in what's left of the son of a bitch's face. Now you hear you. Uh, St. John out. Stop by the hot springs, have a little fun. Sealed. There we go. Start looking, get him. Open fire. Not moving, yeah. I'm hit. I'm hit. Still got old iron tooth on you, yeah?
What do you want? You find that son of a bitch? Yeah, here's old Iron Tooth, just like you asked. Ah, uh, nice work. Deke, you're always the one person I could count on to get things done. <laughs> you know, I have no idea where you and Boozer rode off to, but it's good to see you. Well, we're around, Tuck, and if you need anything, you know how to reach me. Go see Alki. I'll update your credits. or no? How's it going? Hey, what? what's up? All right. I see how it is. Later. <laughs> 